Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Galletto Rossonero here with you. Today we are doing our predictions of the top scores in the upcoming Serie A season. Our top 20, who will be Capo Cannoniere, who will be the king. Before we start, like, like, and subscribe to the channel as always. We want to need your support. It's totally free guys, you just need a Gmail account. Where else are you going to get free news and entertainment? Nowhere else, just on Galletto Rossonero. So if you didn't get a chance guys, Please go look at yesterday's video on the predictions for the final standings of the upcoming season. La Classifica, who will finish first, who goes in champions, who goes in UEFA, who gets relegated. Let me know in the comments what you think. What are your predictions? I would love to know. So, top 20 goal scorers of the upcoming Serie A. Here we go, guys. At number 20, I put Alvaro Morata with 10 goals. He'll be coming off the bench most of the time. So 10 goals is very realistic for him. Number 19, Chicho Caputo with Sassuolo. I gave him 10 goals as well. Didn't have a very good season last year. But this year with De Zerbi being gone, Locatelli gone, Berardi might be leaving. I think it won't be a, a very good season for him. So I gave him 10 goals. Number 18, Dries Martins with Napoli. He'll be playing off the bench most of the time. So 11 goals for him. Number 17, Newly acquired striker for Inter, Eden Zeko. I think he does 12 goals with Inter. He won't be the focus of the attack force. So 12 goals for him. Number 16. Newly acquired striker for Milan, Olivier Giroud. Um, will probably play mostly off the bench when Ibra is there. If Ibra isn't there, he will be the main striker. So I gave him 13 goals. So position number 16, Olivier Giroud with 13 goals at number 15 Berardi so Berardi had a very good season with Sassuolo last year he had 17 goals this year I think he will do 13 he doesn't repeat the season he had last year for the same reasons Caputo won um, a lot of people left very different system so we'll see what happens but Berardi position number 15 13 goals at number 14 Chiesa with 14 goals He's becoming a uh, very important player for Juventus. He's going to get a lot of playing time under uh, Allegri. And so 14 goals for him this season is very reasonable. He had nine last season. Number 13, my favorite player, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I think Ibra is going to get 15 goals this year. It's the same amount he had last year. Hopefully he will play a bit more and not get injured as much. So 15 goals for him. Number 12, Joao Pedro with 15 goals. Very consistent player. Does his goals every year. Last year he had 16 goals for Cagliari. I think he repeats himself. So 15 goals for Joao Pedro at number 12. Number 11, newcomer to Serie A, Abrahams. 15 goals for him this season. It's the most he's ever scored even with Chelsea. But hopefully he'll get to repeat himself. He will be the uh, center of the attack for Rome. So, 15 goals for Abrahams. Number 10, Dybala. Though Dybala, comeback season, 16 goals for him this season. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, he will be the main focus of the attack with Ronaldo and Chiesa. Allegri loves him, will give him a lot of playing time. So, Dybala, 16 goals. Number 9, Belot. 17 goals for him this season. Last year, he only had 13 I'm hoping he does better under Juric. He still hasn't signed his contract. Hopefully, it won't affect him too much. But I think 17 goals is realistic for Belotti. Number eight, Insigne. I think Insigne will have another great season at Napoli. I don't think he's leaving before. Still hasn't signed his contract. So if he stays, I think he's going to get 17 goals. He's going to have a repeat of a great season. He had 19 goals last year. So about the same this year with 17 goals. Number seven, Muriel with 17 goals. Last year, 22 goals. I think it's a bit too much. He won't repeat that. 17 goals, very uh, realistic number for him. Good player off the bench. You can make him play uh, middle of the game, beginning of the game, ending of the game. He always finds a way to score a goal. So Muriel, number 17. At number six, Immobile with 18 goals. Uh, I think it's realistic for him. Nothing much more to say there. Immobile, 18 goals. Number five, Zapata with 19 goals. I think he's going to have a great season. 
if he doesn't leave Atalanta. If he ends up going somewhere else, we'll see. But I think at Atalanta, he gets 19 goals. Number four, Vlaovic. I think he repeats himself. If he stays at Fiorentina, same amount of goals as last year. 21 goals. Uh, very obtainable. Very good talent. So Vlaovic, Fiorentina, 21 goals. Number three, Lautaro Martinez. I think this is his year. Without Lukaku there, he will be the main focus of the Inter attack. So 23 goals at position number three for Lautaro Martinez. Number two, the man himself. Capo Caroniere of last year's season. He got 29 goals last year. I am giving him 26 goals this year as the number two striker in Serie A. Ronaldo, of course, with Juve. Uh, if he stays, obviously, I think he will. He will try to prove why he is so good. And so 26 goals for Cristiano Ronaldo. Finally, my number one striker, the Capo Caroniere for the 21-22 season in Serie A. According to me, Osimen. So I spoke about it yesterday in the video. Napoli will, will rely a lot on him this year. Uh, he was injured, had COVID, and he still managed to score 10 goals with not a lot of games played last year. So Victor Osimen, 28 goals, Capo Canoniere. He is the one, number one on my list. So Victor Osimen. Guys, let me know what you think. Write in the comments. Am I full of it? Did I get some right? Let me know. Tell me what you think. Who's your number one? Have a great soccer day. Enjoy your day, guys.